guys welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel my name is Harpreet and I sell real estate in Toronto and this is my house tour so let's begin and me what you see is my main entrance and as you come in on to the right you have your closet and you have your steps going down to the basement now let's go to the living area first now this is the living area and you'll see everything has been torn apart all the floors is off because what we are doing is we're installing new floor all around the house because the house had carpet and the carpet was stinking. There was pee all over the carpet and it just didn't feel nice to be sleeping on the carpet, right? So we're gonna go put laminate all around the house. Also, the subfloor in some of the areas is sinking. So probably we're gonna end up redoing the subfloor in the living area and then put wooden floor. I mean, this house was built in 1947. So this is a pretty old house. So it will need some subfloor, some new flooring, some new paint to make it livable again. And I, I want you guys to join this journey and hopefully you, you guys like the video. So now this way, the kitchen. Uh, kitchen is in very good condition. What we are thinking of is changing the flooring here and put tiles, but I personally don't like flooring in the kitchen. And also th this one is not waterproof. So if something spills, um, the flooring is gonna go bad. And we have some things in mind about changing the colors of the cabinet or even maybe changing the appliances, the stainless uh, steel appliances. The good thing about this kitchen, because this is a pretty um, old house, they have an FM transmitter. So you can listen to radio while cooking. I don't know how does it work. Um, also take CD in there. So this is pretty sick. I'm gonna see if I can make it work, uh, but let's see. And then from the kitchen, you have the door that takes you to the backyard. Here, let's open it. Oh. So, you have your backyard here, this is the shed. Um, the problem with this shed right now is this one has too much mold in there and we're probably gonna have to tear this thing down. So I'm not gonna go in because I don't like that smell. But if you see, um, this is the backyard. It's pretty small, the reason being because the house was a cottage house before and it's built all the way um, towards the back of the lot. That's why the backyard is really small, but if you look at the front yard, the front yard is huge. Now let's go in. So you go in from here. Now, I showed you guys this is the main entrance. So when you come up, you have the rooms. Now we did the same thing in the rooms as well. We took the flooring off because they had weird type of pink carpet in the house. And even if you look at the walls, they all, uh, they all uh, paper on the wall. We need to take them off. Um, the house was thinking a lot, even the upstairs, because they had two dogs. I think the dogs were peeing around all over the house. So we took the flooring off. So th that was room number one. Now we have room number two. Did the same thing here, the flooring is off. We have, this is a primary bedroom. Took the flooring off here as well. And if you see that, that box kind of thing in the corner. So the house was built in two partitions. So the first one was built in 1945, that was a cottage. And this section of the house where the rooms are, that was built in 1985. So that's why they had to join the two structures, which was done around here. I'm not too sure how does it work. The laundry is upstairs. Uh, we might bring it down to the basement, but for now, I think the, the, the whole plan is to make the house livable. Sorry, I'm just sweating because it's too hot in here. Um, this one used to be a door um, going to the washroom from this room. We put a drywall here because there was no point of putting a door in here because it's only one washroom upstairs. So, and now this is the washroom. I mean, the, the lot size is pretty big, but if you if you look at the livable area, the house is only 1,400 square feet, which is 1,100 upstairs and 300 downstairs. So let's go down and take a look. So this is the basement. Uh, let's turn all the lights on. So the basement is pretty huge. I think this is where I'm gonna stay gonna build my office in the corner my bed will go here um, some sort of sofa and stuff in this corner the good thing about the basement it has its own washroom so at least we have two two full washrooms um, there's a lot of renovations um, we have in mind so we'll keep on posting the videos I hope you guys will like it 
um, I would highly request you guys to like the videos and subscribe so we can put more content out there. So yeah, the whole plan is to put flooring up here as well. Um, so we have already taken the flooring off. So I'm gonna po post a new video after this one where you're gonna see how the flooring was taken off and then, sorry, how the carpet was taken off and what it looked like. But guys, it wasn't nice. Now we have this room right here has a little bit of storage. So I was thinking probably we're gonna put laundry up here. So we'll have a separate laundry room. Um, but we'll see, we'll see, uh, one, one step at a time. Now, let's go up. Let me show you guys the, the outside. So this is what the house looks like. So if you guys can see, it was more so a cottage style. They have deck all around the house. It pretty much wraps around the house. So that's another job I have to repaint the whole deck. Uh, make sure it's in good condition. This way we have another storage. And again, this is the backyard I was showing you guys. This will be the barbecue area. Uh, we have to clean this up right now, but we'll see how that goes. Let's go. But yeah, if you guys look at the lot size, so it's 70 feet wide and 120 feet deep. So the, we have big plans for this house, but for now, let's just stick it to the to the house store. If you guys want to find out how much we got the house for, how does the number work, why we got the older house, we could have bought something new, you know, something already renovated, so we don't have to go through all the renovation, extra money, extra costs. So let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think, and I'll make the video on it. But you guys will see more videos coming out soon on the. Um, you know on the renovations more videos about real estate um, so a lot of content coming up so yeah please like the video subscribe and comment down below thank you